Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Judy May, the Intergalactic Supreme Goddess of Guest Service, and today I would love to talk about the tray and the tray stand. I've had a lot of you write in and ask for some tips and tricks on how to load up the tray, get the tray stand down, set the tray stand down, and of course, how do you get all that down to your guests without dropping or dumping a tray. And I'd like to say special thanks to Allie Havens and Jakob Brigandi for being one of the first people to suggest this video. I hope it really helps. So let's get into the video. So we have our tray here. I just took my fruit plate and a, a couple bowls that I had out of my drawers. And I know some of you write me in and say, oh, I'm just gonna start my new job at the restaurant or I just started and I'm so nervous about the tray. And I always really like the answer, you know what, ask your restaurant if you can borrow a regular size tray or a big tray. Take it home just for a couple days. You can use your own fruit plate, glasses, whatever you would like. And in the comfort of your home, just practice a little bit so you're more confident. I think it's a win-win for your restaurant and of course yourself. So I have my fruit plate here. Of course I have some onions and this is one of my favorite onions. It's because I grew it myself. And so when your onions start to grow some long stems on it, you can just shove it into the ground. They're gonna make more onions, everyone's happy. But let's get on with our video here. I have, I know that when I pick this up, if you've seen my other video, that my head is going to be very close to this area. And now more than ever, we need to be very careful with social distancing, also distancing ourselves from the food. So in this place, our face is actually quite close to the food, so I try to leave a little space here so we stay a little bit farther from the place or as far as we can uh, in order to get things down in a very safe way. So usually you have your tray, it's maybe leaning up against a wall or it's at your service stand or at a bar. And what I like to do is just put it on my shoulders right here. And when you have it right here, you can basically do everything. Then I have the tray and it's a little bit awkward because you do have a lot of things on your shoulders, but I'm just going to bend down and slide the tray off the service station. Woo, lift it up. This is quite heavy, but it's not real, real heavy. So I can actually kind of hold it away from my head a little bit, using my hand to support the whole thing. And then also where the thumbs up is. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, everybody. This hand is going to be helping to balance it out. If it was a little heavier, I might lean it down on my shoulder. So I have two points that are actually supporting the tray. And in this way, then I can start walking around the restaurant wherever I'd like to be. Yeah. So now we come to the very tricky part where everyone's like, now what do I do? And it is, I have to say, a little tricky, so that's why I can highly recommend to practice just a few times till you get kind of your own way of doing it. This is my way of doing it, and now I know that I'm gonna have to get rid of this hand somehow, so I'm gonna have to just be balancing on my shoulder and my hand. If I was really strong and had a big hand, I could just balance the whole thing with one hand, but I'm not, I'm just a little person. So I'm going to balance it on my shoulder and my hand, and I'm gonna take my stand, and I'm going to set it down here. I'm just gonna pop it open, and I'm gonna make sure it's securely down. And when it is, then I'm going to use my leg muscles instead of my back, and get the tray down as well as I can. And then from there, with two hands, I'm just going to put it on the tray stand, so I know it is totally balanced. Voila! And then from there, we can start unloading. Because I know it is quite balanced, it probably doesn't matter so much what I take off, but I would like to start taking off the things that are around the outside edge and work to the middle, which is the fruit bowl, because I want to keep you know, the balance and the weight and everything in the center as much as I possibly can. So let's say if I went down to the table, and now I have delivered all my, my goods here. But at the same time, that's why the tray and the tray stand is actually a really nice tool that we have. So you might have heard of, you know, 
Don't run around with an empty tray. Always have full hands. Full hands out, full hands in, and you're going to end up saving so many steps. So when you're down at the table, see if there's any dishes that you can take away, maybe dirty napkins that you need to replace, anything that maybe your guests don't need at the table at the time, you can take back to the kitchen with your tray that you already have down there. So let's say this was a bunch of dishes. So my guests ended up giving me some dirty dishes here, which I'll just set in the center. And then I'll also kind of just centerize my other items that the guest doesn't need on the table anymore. And now I have to get this whole thing back to the kitchen. But wait, I could be a little bit smart. Depending on your restaurant, if you have a lot of room, maybe I could just leave the tray stand. Or maybe I could set the tray stand in the area so that I could pick it up a little bit later so it's a little bit closer to my guest. If you can leave the tray stand there because you know you're gonna come back with the big tray with some new items on it, that is the easiest thing. But let's say you have to take the tray stand with you. Now what do you do? So again, I'm going to get down, I'm gonna pull the tray across, I'm going to lift it up, and now I have the tray balancing on my shoulder and with my hand, and I'm just gonna do reverse where I'm gonna take the tray, and I'm going to put it up like this. And now I have everything balanced and everything secure around myself. But let's say I'm walking along and all of a sudden I know that I need to drop the tray stand over here by the wall where it belongs. Again, I'm gonna balance my shoulder and my hand. And I'm gonna set it just up against the wall here. Oops, perfect. And then I can go to the kitchen or to wherever I'm going. And when I come back, I can also pick it up again. Doo, 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 doo. And we are on our way. So. I hope this video really helped you. There are many of you that write in and do say, oh, I'm so nervous about handling the tray. And you know, when I'm really nervous about doing something new, of course, for example, the tray, I always think about the million dollar trick. And the million dollar trick is something my mom always told me. She was like, well, could you do it for a million dollars? And I'm like, yeah, of course I can figure out how to carry this tray for a million dollars and not dump anything and try to perfect it as well as I can. And I have actually a friend of mine a little friend of mine, a neighbor, and he was trying to get his sleeping bag into that sleeping bag cover. And you know how difficult that is? Sometimes you're thinking, oh, how did the bag actually get in there in the beginning? You have to roll it up super tight. And he was about to give up. And I said, hey, if, would you be able to do it for a million dollars? And he's like, yeah, of course I can. And I'm like, you know what, then do it. You obviously can. It's just that you were having a little bit of a lazy gene or you were giving up too early. So maybe ask your question, could I do it for a million dollars next time you think that something is too difficult or maybe you are needing a little extra courage to be able to do it. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and I would love to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ginny Mae, the Intergalactic Supreme Goddess of Guest Service and I thank you so much for watching our video. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you like more tips and tricks, Click here and press on my face right here to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell sign so you get notified every time I come out with a new video. Let's go out and give amazing service.